Yo, in today's video, it's gonna be wild. I've never done it before. I've seen people do something sort of like this, but I've been actually really interested in trying this out. Me and Kenneth were talking about it not too long ago, and this is gonna be something really interesting that I'm actually excited for. Something just to test out and actually to see if it's actually possible. And what I'm gonna be doing is using my old hair. I know this is weird. I, I don't know why I'm still using this, but I'm getting so many uses out of it. I'm gonna move. Yo, what's up guys? I wanted to thank Swagbucks for sponsoring today's video. So I love the Swagbucks app because you can earn and make money and even save money by just playing games, taking surveys, watching videos. So this is a way for you to make a little bit of extra cash when you're doing nothing. Now the beautiful thing about right now is that you can click my custom link in the description and actually get a $5 gift card for whatever you would like. And this can go towards Amazon and many other stores. So remember, you get a $5 gift card after sign up. Just click my custom link and you will not regret it because Swagbucks is actually a really awesome app and you'll enjoy it. Comment down below what you're gonna use your five bucks on. Other than that, let's get straight back into the video. Little update, this is actually where I film all the Great Locks videos or any green, green screen stuff. And then it's just a little studio. The light's up here, really cool. And cool little desk setup. I'm not sure if I've updated you guys on the office, but that's what's, that's what's going on over here. But you guys, as you guys know, many of like, Many of you guys do know, like, yes, I was born with a crooked hairline and people typically have a, you know, a longer side or a longer hairline on one side than on the other side. Mine just seems to go a little higher than others. And I've actually been growing all my baby hairs out. I'll show you guys them right here. So yeah, I'm growing all my baby hairs out. They're really, they're getting pretty long, but I want them to go back into my actual hair, but this is how long they are. So I'm gonna brush this back and what I'm gonna do is pretty nuts, but I'm going to glue down as if it's a man weave. You guys have seen multiple videos of man weaves, but I'm gonna glue down some of the hair that used to be mine, shedded hair. <laughs> so weird, but I'm gonna glue it down and then give myself a lineup. This is a false hairline. What would you call it, a hairline weave or a weave hairline? But we're gonna do it today. So we'll pull out the hair and then we'll get started. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new because I drop a whole bunch of hair content. I actually like my hair how it is right now. And I have a headband kind of just chilling up there. But it makes my hair look a little shorter, which is pretty cool. Helps it stand up a whole lot better. But I guess what I'm trying to achieve right now is just pushing this hair back so I don't touch it. And then glue the extra hair down on my forehead. And then see how this works. So if you guys missed the video of me actually washing all of this hair to turn them into dreadlocks, you can click the link in the description and it should link you straight to that video of when I washed this hair, so it is clean. Okay guys, I'm using this hair bonding glue. Kenneth uses this for eyelashes, but it's for the perfect hold in hair bonding. So what I'm gonna do is actually just pull my headband a little lower and then push these hairs back and then make sure those hairs are really out of the way and then I'm gonna lay down the glue just right, like before the hairline, and then start laying down the hair, and then get myself a lineup, and make it look as realistic as possible. Cause I mean, I've seen people do the hair weaves and they look like, they look real. So let's try this. Cause I just wanna push these hairs out of the way. Just all those baby hairs. I think that should be good right there. I don't think I wanna get glue on that hair. One thing we have been thinking is like trying to actually use my old hair to create like a, you know, one of those beard weaves. Just for fun, like, this is all just for fun. I would never like do this stuff permanently cause like I'm okay with how I look and how everything looks, but I think it'd just be interesting to see what I'd look like with a full beard. But yeah guys, this is my hairline. Like ever since I was born, I've always had this hairline. It's like just always been like super, I would say a little thin up here. And obviously over time, over age, having dreadlocks, um, it has thinned out, but it's always been like that. All right y'all, so I brought up some of this Mocha de Gorilla snot gel, and this stuff actually works really good. A lot of people use got to be, um, but I'm gonna try that in the future for like doing braids and stuff, but this stuff really works. The biggest thing about it is that it actually just doesn't flake and a lot of products flake. So I'm actually just going to wet my hair a little bit up in the front. Now I'm just gonna get some of this gel, push this back, cause I don't wanna get any of these hairs. I just don't wanna like, really um, snip any of um, my actual hairs. Cause I've been working hard on this hairline, I'm not gonna lie. So just push this back. See, now it's good right there. All right, now let's rock and roll. So I'm gonna be using this little brush to apply the glue. 
This is just one of those brushes that came with one of my clippers. All right, I feel like I got the majority of the hair back. I just didn't want any major hair sticking out of my hairline. Now before I apply the glue, I'm just gonna make sure that I have some decent hair to work with. The biggest thing I wanna do is just make sure that there's hair that is separated. Like this whole section right here looks really good. So I'm just gonna pull this whole section out and I may be just using this, but just in case I'm gonna grab a little bit more from here. So I'll use this section too. Now my biggest concern is, is this gonna match my actual hair? And I think once it's laying down, it may, because this was the tips of my hair, so it was a little lighter just from sun bleaching. So you guys, let's get to gluing. I think the biggest thing I wanna accomplish while gluing is making sure that I glue as if my hairline is there. So I'm basically giving myself a glue lineup. I'm gonna put the glue on here so that I can like dip into it. So I'm just gonna dip into this and then go into my hairline. Okay, so let's take this for a spin. I feel like this stuff's getting sticky already, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some hair. Maybe it wasn't getting sticky. Maybe it should like cure. Like I know like some glues take time to cure, but I think this one was getting ready. I have no clue how this is gonna turn out. All right guys, this is like the big corner right here, like literally. And to be honest, like I don't know how it's gonna look. All right y'all, I'm just gonna let this cure. And I have a feeling it's gonna look a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna let this cure and then I'll get right back with you guys. All right guys, I literally feel like there's nothing else to do right now besides just shape it up and make it look good. And like, I don't wanna cut my actual hair so I'm gonna pay really close attention. I'm just gonna give myself a lineup, like a rough one with this and then I'm gonna probably have to redo it. Now that I'm like lining it up, it doesn't look as bad, but it's still, it's still bad. Somehow I still manage to maintain the crookedness. Like it's one thing to cut your own hair and just get like hair of your own everywhere. I guess this is my own hair, but like when it's your hair from like almost half a year ago. I'm doing tell you the truth, it's not looking too bad. It's really bad. It's looking real, I'm not gonna lie. It's almost like I just have like bangs. Now if I would've did a better glue job, it would've looked a lot better, but you win some, you lose some. I'm gonna make it look a little more realistic with holding it down with the hair tie. All right, here we go. So if I just place it right there. Like my hairline feels numb. See, there's like a thin spot right here because you can see that it's really thick and then it just gets super, not thick right there. I have like chapstick on it, it's just collecting all my hair. I'm just gonna stop right now. All right, I'm gonna give myself a break. I'm gonna attempt to take this off. If it comes off smooth, I'm gonna retry the whole process and then I'll show you guys what it looks like, but let's take this off because this is what I'm looking like afterward. I'm not sure. It's it's looking pretty thrashed. I understand. But it would work. Like, I think I just, yeah, I just put way too much glue right here. Cool, so let's take this off. Ouch. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just going to peel off the rest of this black gunk. So it wasn't that bad taken off, to be honest. And then I am going to try it again because that first time sucked. Hey, guys, I don't recommend doing this. I'm not going to redo it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not gonna be redoing that process. It's not fun. Now I understand when they do man weaves, they like get a clean shave and the hair is really short because when you glue the hair down, it doesn't tug on like these little baby hairs and like, yeah, it was a tough, it didn't hurt, but I was just trying to be super careful that I'm not pulling out any hair up there or just creating any tension or fraction. Fraction? Friction. I didn't want to create a fraction and divide some things because I don't really like division like that. Anyway, I know that this will be possible and it will work, which it did work. I just didn't do it properly. If I did it again, which I can do it in the future, I just didn't want to do it back to back because I did create some tension trying to pull all that stuff out. But yeah, it could work. I think the biggest thing you want to accomplish, especially with the hairline, is distributing the glue properly. Because there were some spots on my hairline that were too thick of actual glue and then some parts that I didn't even have it straight. So I feel like it would be easier doing it on someone else because me personally, like it's, you know, it was kind of tough, but it was actually really cool being able to do this. Let me know what you think. Did it look okay? I mean, I think it looked decent for me doing it in under like 20 minutes and it really shouldn't be that long of a process. But comment down below how you think I did. Comment down below if you've ever seen this before. If you've ever seen man weave videos, I actually did a reaction on that, but I'm sure we're gonna see man weaves and all kinds of stuff like this in the future. But you guys hopefully enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new because I drop a whole bunch of hair content that you guys will enjoy. But I'm gonna go figure out how to 
grow a hairline. See you guys on the next episode. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.